good part of the country. And if you are looking to add a little more comfort, if you want to add a little better airflow, if you want to do it from a name that's been doing it for more than 30 years, you can do it here at QVC. And here at QVC, you're going to find a Holmes fan, not just on a sale price that saves you $10, but also on easy pay. It's four easy payments of $8.50 a month. You pay for it while you use it, and if your bedroom or your kitchen or any part of your home has just been a little hotter than you'd like this summer, say goodbye to that and be more comfortable. V3, 5412, we had a lot of different colors. We are down to one. Luckily, it's a nice neutral, which is important. Kyle Senchak is here. Kyle brings us great items for our homes. This one happens to be truly great. 134 five-star reviews is what we're looking at. And Kyle, my friend, thank you. Good to you. see you. Katie. Good to see you. To All right, you and I were talking before the show, and I said, what is it that you love most about this fan? What I really love most about this fan is the rotating grill, and you mm -hmm. see it in action here. What you're getting here is that ultimate air distribution. And on the high setting, you're getting 70% more air distribution across the room than a traditional fan. And if I was to put it on the low setting, you're getting 30% more air distribution than a traditional fan. And that really is the home's difference. Well, you know, I was reading the reviews earlier, Kyle, and some of the words that came up again and again and again were, it works great, it's a great fan, but quiet. Quiet exactly. was, a, right. was a word that came up over and over and over again. So if you are looking to add that air circulation, if you want to cool things down, but you don't want it to be that old school box fan that pretty much drowns everything out around it, this is what you get. Now you get the fan, you'll also get a remote so you can use it by touching or you can use the remote itself. And it comes with the batteries for the remote. So I think that's nice. And I'm gonna say this right now before I forget, college students, pick it up now, let them take it to school with them because a lot of schools, still don't have air conditioned dorms and if they do it doesn't quite cool it down enough oh that's see that's a nice oh yeah now right that's a nice breeze so i know we have a couple of different fan levels can we work, walk through them so i can kind of put my microphone there and we can listen to of them? course so right now we're on the high setting and this is the this is the fourth setting here um your settings are going to be low medium high two through four okay and what we've added new this year is a whisper function oh. you may recognize this fan but when you put it on the first setting here that's what you're gonna to wanna to use at night. That's what you're gonna to wanna to, to use in the bedroom or when you have company over. You don't have to be screaming over them. It's that nice lull, especially if you're somebody who likes to sleep with a little bit of sound on in the room mm -hmm. and not just dead silence. That's what you're gonna to wanna to use that first setting for. But it's even on the high settings, it's not gonna it's not gonna drown out anything else in the room. Well, it's a very here, nice I have it on the low setting now. I've got my microphone right up next to it, so I'm gonna try try not to talk. This is the lowest. That's two, that's three, that's four. That's still quiet. I've got to say, and it's, it's a little sticky in the studio today as usual. Right, but we've got This is blowing cooler air. This is great, and by the way, you can pick it up with your hand. This is about 16 inches by about 18 inches by about four, not even five inches deep. And let me see, it weighs five and a half pounds. Five and a half pounds, correct. And it's got, what, a six foot cord here? Yep, that's a six foot wow. cord, and honestly, it's more than enough. I've never, ever pulled this fan out and thought, wow, I wish this had an extra cord. It's more than enough and especially okay. if you want to put it next to your HVAC unit or anything like well, that. Well, and you know, let's I'm going to I'm going to turn her off you and I'm, take this by one? the way, it has a little place to store the remote so you don't have to worry about losing it. I like smart technology and honestly, even just putting that right in there is pretty smart technology. You can also do a four, two, four, or eight hour timer. So this way maybe we're conserving a little electricity because we're not going to run it, you know, all day. We just have it on and it, you know, comes off while while we're sleeping or when we get up. That's All right, correct. shall we? Take Let's your go. fan and go. A lot of you are picking up more than one. We're down to tan, and I'm gonna say it's like a deep, deep cream, just to kind of give you a really good idea. But this is when you've got your vent, right? Like in our bedroom, our basement's freezing and our upstairs is hot. Put it right in front of your vent, and then all of a sudden, you're able to blow that cold air out into the rest of the room. So Katie, what I like to always say is think of this as a supercharger for your HVAC system. Okay. Um, I don't know if a lot of people you, a lot of people know this, but the way wor air works naturally is the hot air is going to rise to the top of the room, mm -hmm. and the cold air is going to stay at the bottom. And if you're not proactively doing something to keep it from doing that, it's all the HVAC unit is doing is keeping your ankles cold. So with the Holmes Blizzard, you're going to put it in front of That's your so in front of your floor vent. Mm -hmm and then it's gonna blast that air across the entire room. And we have a little something here. 
Well, that's, yeah. That, we've all had these, <laughs> right? We all know the box. We, we've all seen this fan. Um, it's popping up in all your in all your big box stores, and it's, it's just really harsh on the skin. It's harsh on the eyes, and it's just loud. It's obnoxious and clunky. Mm -hmm. Well, and also, if you put that down, look at how much space this takes up. Right. Versus, right. you can leave that right there for a second. Which footprint would you rather have? I would rather have something a little bit smaller, something that, quite frankly, looks a little more aerodynamic and prettier versus that. But then there is the actual technology that's inside the fan that it's a little hard to see on TV. I think we have a little animation to kind of explain what exactly this is doing versus the box fan. Right, so that's your traditional box fan. And what that's gonna give you is that really loud, harsh tunnel across the other side of the room. And we've gone a little bit upwards from then. We move into the oscillating fan. It gives you that same tunnel, but you find yourself chasing it across the room trying mm -hmm. to stay cool. With the Holmes Blizzard, what we have now is we have five traditional uh, fan blades, and then we pair it with 42 extra blades Look at that. to go with it. And what that does is it gives you 70% more air distribution across the room as, a, as compared to a traditional fan. This is my second time this week having bubbles in the show. Can we do this more often? Because quite <laughs> frankly, this is fun. And we're not just doing this to have fun. We're showing, how, look at how it's not blowing the bubbles in one straight direction. They are going all around the room. And Katie, we're 20 feet away from this fan. And you can see, I'm about six foot tall here. Okay. You're seeing these bubbles three, four feet They're above my head. They're going up to like where the traditional ceiling I, in a room would I be. I think we've got about 25 foot ceilings in here. There's no lack of space and you nice. see these bubbles everywhere. I'm telling now, you, everywhere. Bubbles not included. You have to be BYOB, bring your own bubbles. But here's what I want to show you. With the footprint, you're getting all of this distribution. With the footprint, you're able to put it down. Oh, the bubbles are popping. You're able to put it down in front of your vent, but not block up the entire vent. This is a great fan. Think about your home office. Like ours gets a lot of sun and and it gets hot. This is a great way to cool it down. Maybe it is your kitchen table. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna walk over here to the kitchen table. You know, maybe you're gonna be in there cooking dinner. You just wanna put the fan on the countertop. It doesn't take up the whole presence where that traditional box fan that's blowing one way, that's what it does. It's easy, you could take this up the stairs, you know, bring it down and put it on while you're watching TV. It's quiet enough that it won't drown out your TV. And then you just take it, you walk up the stairs, you bring it up to bed at night. It's so simple. And one thing I really wanted to point out mm -hmm. is you'll see back here in our window, we have the fan and it's gonna work really well to bring in that nice summer air. Uh, especially if you're mm. cooking in the house, you're having company over, it can get really stuffy in there really easily. So That's if you just idea. toss that in the window there, you're gonna get a really, really nice breeze from the outside. And on top of that, even if you don't need to have the the breeze coming in from the outside. Maybe you're cooking something that doesn't have a pleasant smell. Turn it around. You turn it around and use it as a vent fan. That's or a I know my dad uses it if he's painting or doing anything in the great garage. Idea. It's a great vent fan for just about anything you can think of. And not only is it for the summer, no, um, I know many people who use this all year round mm -hmm. in the winter to blast that hot air across the room so they're getting coverage on the couch when they only have one vent in the room and it's over near the doorway. So it's it's really great all year round. Well, and for so many of us, we like to sleep with a, a fan on. We like a little white noise. And what I like is when you turn this up, you get some nice white noise. If you want to put this in a baby's room so there's some air movement and just a little bit of that white noise, if you put this on low, it's just so, so quiet and so soothing. This is customer top rated, by the way. We've had some reviews going across the bottom of your screen. I have a similar fan, but this one looked like an upgrade. It's lighter, it's narrower, it's a lot quieter. And you know what? I have to agree with all of those. And I like that we have a remote, so if we want to change it from laying in bed or on the couch, we can be lazy and not get up. But then it's really easy. I love that you guys really made all of the buttons very easy to kind of figure out what they are. Exactly, and if we could take a moment, I'd love to take you oh, through all of these too. By the way, all of these functions you could use on the included remote, which comes with batteries. So right here we have your rotating grill button. And what that does is, st is stops and starts the, uh, the home's rotating grill. And if you'll notice, it'll go in counterclockwise direction from the fan blade too, which is really important for that nice air distribution. Down here you have the timer setting, which goes from two, to eight or to four to eight and then so forth up to 14 hours of sleep timer. Nice. So that's a really great added function here. Here we have the speeds. Now we're on high speed down here, which is, which is the fourth speed. That's our highest setting. We switch it down to one and that's that quiet whisper function. Mm. That's the one that everybody loves and it's new this year. 
You go down, and that's our medium, and then high, once again, sorry. And then another, another thing that people love about the Holmes Blizzard is we have the breeze function. And what that does is it takes you through all four speeds uh, right in a row. And what that oh. does is it creates, it creates a nice heavy breeze, and then it brings it back. And it, it, we try to simulate like the, the nice summer breeze. Okay, can I, I, I was thinking as you were doing this before you even got to that function. This to me is a fan that unlike a box fan that just blows a tunnel of air at you, or unlike the oscillating fan, which as it spins, like you get that little bit of breeze, but then you almost have to follow it because it comes back this way. Sitting in front of this and even to the side of it, it mimics what it feels like, like that spring day when you open the windows for the first time right. and the breeze comes in and the curtains billow a little bit and you just feel like this ah of fresh air. That's what this fan does different than I think more of our traditional options, which is why I think on a sale price, this is such a good idea. And I think you may want to come back and get another one, which is why I think some of you are picking up more than one. This is the only color we have left. It's what we're calling tan. I'm going to call it like a deep, deep vanilla. So I do think you've got some, some wiggle room with what rooms you're putting it in and, and what your decor looks like. But if you want to cool down and you don't want to be blown away by a big sound and just one tunnel of air, this is the perfect fan. That's exactly right, Katie. And we can, accred we can accredit it to this rotating grill. I like to use the metaphor of a garden hose, you know? Mm -hmm. You put it on that jet setting and all, all it's doing is destroying your plants. Mm -hmm. Think of this as the fan setting where it widens out the stream on your on your garden hose. Instead of having that really really harsh air coming at you, we like to disperse it out with these 42 extra fan blades mm -hmm. and that's what gives you that 70% more air distribution across the room and that's the home's difference. It's kind of like the difference between just the garden hose and then this kind of spray sprinkler but it's doing it with the air that's in your home and genius idea that when something gets a little bit burned or when you know maybe that scent of onion when you're making your chili in the fall isn't dissipating as exactly, quickly as yeah, you'd like we all know that. open the window turn this out and let it take all that stinky air right out and put it back outside i always forget to do that that is such a good idea and we have a little we have a little uh, pinwheel hill to sh here to show you that it's creating amazing suction in the back not mm -hmm. only are you getting that that strong dispersed air in the front but it's going to be able to pull all those odors and the stuffiness right out of the room within seconds. That's the back of the fan where the pinwheel's blowing. Nice. And you know what's nice too is if you just get warm on any given day these days, this is what happens. What happens is you can now bring this down and you can put it on the kitchen table where you're, you know, writing your to-do list for the week. You can put it down while you're watching TV and you don't have to turn the TV up to the top volume. You can then bring it upstairs and put it in the bedroom. I mean, honestly, if you're gonna be doing work in the garage, bring it out in the garage and plug it in and get some air flowing. It wait can kind of be one of the more stagnant areas in the house, the garage. Exactly, yeah, and it's the, tr the fan is truly so mm -hmm. versatile. It's it's You just have to get it home and find a use for it because I know I found a million and one uses mm -hmm. for it. And honestly, the biggest one, it's in the bedroom at night because I am one of those people that likes to have a little bit of noise. Yeah. And especially at night because my girlfriend doesn't really love the noise as much. Oh, it's, it see, comes, it's hard to balance. It comes with a remote in which you can you can control the timer. So you don't want it going all night if you want to save a little bit of energy. My ceiling fan is great, but it doesn't have a remote. Oh, that's, you know, that's like when you turn the ceiling fan on the beginning of the summer, it just stays on the same setting all summer long. But really the difference here is that instead of that funnel, instead of just that tunnel of air, this disperses it throughout the room. We're bringing back the bubbles. And this is why, and this is a small footprint on a fan. Look at how beautifully this is spreading the bubbles out, up, and all around us. And you're getting that amazing air dispersion. I keep saying it like a bro mm -hmm. broken record because it's it's the only fan that can do this in your home. Yeah. And it's all it all comes down to this rotating grill in front with the 42 extra fan blades. You pair it with the traditional fan blades and you're getting that, that beautiful, light, amazing air everywhere in the room. And it's it, it kind of goes counterclockwise here, and that's what's so great about home. Oh, I'm sad we lost the bubbles. So I was thinking about the ceiling fan's going to blow the air down, right? Or if you put it backwards, it brings the air up. The box fan is this way. The oscillating fan is this way. The Holmes fan is this way, and that's the difference. Sale price does not last forever. Pick it up on Easy Pay. Cream color, not a bad color to get home. V three five four one two. Good ideas on Thank uses you so of fans. Much, Thank you, Kyle. That was the first time we got to work together. Oh yeah. Oh. We need to have more bubbles. Always more bubbles. We have um, something great from Donna. 